coming in. And off and running for race number five, the Novus Wealth Management Confined Race. Heading off at pace towards number one of 20, rattle the cage over the first. In a share of the lead with Game as a Pheasant, a length to Hollow Tree. Then the Nose Banded Not a Bother Boy from Snow Castle. And the Maroon Jacket of Seymour's Finale. Settling into a rhythm now as they go towards number two, Rattle the Cage. And Game as a Pheasant heading out into the country for the first occasion together. Hollow Tree made a slight mistake in those beige stripes. Not a Bother Boy keeping close attendance. Five lengths then to Snow Castle. Looking to continue an excellent record for the favourites today, a perfect record indeed as they go over number three, at which Hollow Tree made another slight mistake, and Seymour's finale last off the sextet. As they swing left-handed at the far end of Scutterskelf Park, and on now towards the fences against the trees on the far side, and turning into this line, it is Rattle the Cage, who's won from three in point to points. Accounting for Game as a Pheasant last time. Skipping over this one, Rattle the Cage, Game as a Pheasant and Not a Bother Boy. Racing around the outside into a narrow third to Hollow Tree. Four or five lengths then to Snow Castle. We've had five goes and yet to finish out of the first two. And two or three lengths to the 2017 restricted winner at the track. Seymour's finale and a slow jump that time from Hollow Tree. On they go towards number five and it's Rattle the Cage with Not a Bother Boy possibly in second place now around the outside. Game is a pheasant in third, Hollow Tree in fourth and then Snow Castle close up. Two or three lengths then to Seymour's finale as they continue the run back towards us. Fence number six is looming and this will be the last in two circuits time. This time around, Rattle the Cage, with the white face, leading the field, spearheading the pack. Not a bother boy on a going day so far around the outside. Games of Pheasant, toward, uh, games of pheasant towards the inside. And then Hollow Tree in fourth place. Two or three lengths in front of Snow Castle and John Dawson, as they head away on their first of two complete circuits now. And then four or five lengths in front to Seymour's finale and Ross Wilson. Finishing fourth last time at Charm Park. So they swing left-handed towards the seventh. And it's Rattle the Cage in those sheepskin cheek pieces. A thorough stayer up in the vanguard here with Not A Bother Boy and Tom Strawson. Game is a pheasant and Sam Burton all close up with Hollow Tree in attendance as they go over the seventh, the fence before the ditch. Two lengths to Snow Castle in fifth place. At the open ditch, fence number eight. And a very good jump by the leader. Rattle the cage, swinging right-handed now to in second place, Game as a Pheasant. As they move towards two playing fences, a length to Not a Bother Boy in third. After those is Hollow Tree in fourth. At a playing one now, number nine. Game as a Pheasant jumps the lead that time, only narrowly. As they move on towards the tenth, Rattle the Cage, Not a Bother Boy, Hollow Tree and Snow Castle. With Seymour's finale last of the six, only eight lengths off the lead up as they go over number 10 and that time a very attacking jump by Rattle the Cage regain the initiative around this left-handed turn. Rattle the Cage by two lengths to game as a pheasant in second place Hollow Tree and Not a Bother Boy sharing third at this point, two or three lengths to Snow Castle as they take this left-handed turn back towards us and five or six lengths in front of Seymour's finale as they go towards the plain fences across the back Fence number 11 is coming up Rattle the Cage in towards it, jumping really well Game is a pheasant, landed in second place, not a bother boy. Still there on the outside with Hollow Tree, whose jumping appears to have improved. Two or three lengths to Snow Castle, the youngest horse in the race. As they race across the back now towards number 12 of the 20. And Seymour's finale, five lengths detached in last position, but close enough as they move on down the back. And not a bother boy, plugged along for a stride or two there as they move now towards number 13. This will be the last next time. Rattle the cage, hollow tree in second place now. Two or three lengths in front of game is a pheasant. Pushed along and shoved along, not a bother boy. In fourth place, and then Snow Castle, as they turn towards number 13 of the 20. In the wings of it now, rattle the cage over in front to hollow tree, and game is a pheasant, a left-hand turn now on their final circuit. Into fourth place round the inside is Snow Castle has picked off not a bother boy. Seymour's finale remains last of the party as they head out in this final circuit. A fair run before they get towards the plain ditch combination. Fences 14 and 15. Rattle the cage and Will Easterby 
taking this left-handed turn. Who beat game as a pheasant at Helmsley last time. Between the pair is Hollow Tree and Christopher Ness having a fourth go at the discipline today. Yet to win. At fence number 14 now. Rattle the cage, Hollow Tree 1 and 2. To game as a pheasant in third. An untidy jump by Hollow Tree. And that meant game as a pheasant regained second. At the ditch, Rattle the cage, game as a pheasant 1 and 2. And into an improving third, Snow Castle in green. They turn right-handed now towards the next two plain fences. Five left to jump. Snow Castle has four lengths to find on these two leaders. Rattle the cage and game as a pheasant at the next. Number 16. Over it in third place that time, Snow Castle. Seymour's finale has improved into a share of fourth on the outside of Hollow Tree and driven along not above the boy as they move on now towards the fourth last at the far end of Scutterscalf Park. Rattle the cage on the inside of game as a pheasant. Two lengths to Snow Castle. John Dawson in second gear around the inside as they move towards the final set of three fences. Six or seven lengths in front to Hollow Tree in fourth place. And the cards about to be played at the denouement of this confined race. And still up front, it is Rattle the Cage on the inside. Game is a pheasant on the outside. And Snow Castle has about four lengths to find over the third last. But a good jump by Snow Castle. Two lengths behind now. They're on the run towards the second last. And it is Rattle the Cage just about in front. Two in second place. Game is a pheasant. Snow Castle bearing down on them. Comes to within a length and a half of the leader at the second last. Rattle the Cage over in front. A good jump when he needed it. He leads by three parts to Snow Castle who splits game as a pheasant now as they make the run towards the 20th and last. Rattle the Cage on the inside. On the outside Snow Castle. Little to choose between the two. Rattle the Cage finding plenty. Three parts in hand as they run towards the last. Snow Castle chased along now by Dawson as they move towards the 20th and final fence and Rattle the Cage is two lengths in front. Rattle the Cage coming towards the last. Two Snow Castle in second place. Will Easterby and Rattle the Cage at the last. Oh, a little bit untidy but led by a length. Down the hill, Snow Castle called on for a big effort on the outside. A length between the pair. Rattle the cage on the inside. Snow Castle giving the offers on the far side. They race towards the right middle of it. It's Snow Castle on the outside. Yes. On the inside, rattle the cage. And I'll let the judge split them. Within third place, game of the present, then hollow tree. Well clear of anything else, if anything else.